A property owner says he feels invaded by Kershaw County's decision to install a fire station directly beside his house. Now, construction is postponed until County Council discusses the project in a public forum on Tuesday. My, my big question was, why is such a big piece of land being cleared for a four bay fire station? On a 12 acre stretch of Kershaw County property in Cassett, four acres of vegetation were stripped down to accommodate a county fire station. The only problem is someone decided to build directly behind the only house within a half a mile radius. My wife and I are not opposed to having a firehouse on the property. We just are opposed to having it right in our backyard. Jim Gatsby is in the process of renovating a property he bought in 2021. The Pennsylvania native chose Kershaw County for its solitude and privacy, a luxury now replaced with construction and uncertainty. No one here working on the property, none of the council people, none of the people in charge, they're not going to be here. We have to live with this for the rest of our lives. I reached out to District Councilman Danny Cato, who deferred all questions to County Administrator Danny Templer. He postponed the project on Thursday, but never got back with us. I mean, you ask me a question, I'm gonna just tell you straight. Nobody else has seen me to want to set responsibility, so I will. Councilman Jimmy Jones says the incoming firehouse has prompted more questions than answers, citing tremendous confusion on the project's description and price, already charging local taxpayers. And that's exactly why I'm taking it to County Council. I'm the one who put it on the agenda. I'm the one who, who have asked for a public presentation. And uh, if things weren't done correctly, I'm going to hold somebody accountable. Simple as that. The future of this project rests in a Kershaw County Council meeting set for next Tuesday. Councilman Jones hopes the council will relocate the project further away from Gatsby's home. Reporting in the newsroom, Andrew Fancher, WIS News 10.